China is an expansive country slash continent filled with mega city metropolises, sandy beach paradises and extensive mountain ranges. Having lived in China for the past year, eating the local food and soaking up the culture, I have been lucky enough to experience some of these places. At times when encountering them, my jaw has literally dropped to the floor. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys my own personal opinion on the top five places in China that I have visited so far. At number five is a place very close to my heart, and that's Lingnan Tiandi in Foshan, Guangdong province in southern China. Foshan is a part of the Greater Bay Area, alongside Hong Kong, Macau, Zhuhai, Guangzhou and Shenzhen. This means that it's a place undergoing a lot of investment and development at the moment. It's changing so, so fast, with skyscrapers being put up left, right and centre, turning it into a very modern city. However, Foshan is actually Cantonese, which means it's steeped in traditional culture and has a very, very long history, with ties to Kung Fu and Buddhist monuments. Lingnan Tiandi is a perfect example of modern China mingled with traditional Cantonese culture. It's a place with a collection of small market stores and shops mingled in with international coffee brands and other shops. It's actually built around a very, very old temple. But what makes Lingnan Tiandi so special to me is that when I personally lived there, Lingnan Tiandi was the place where all the international expats would go to hang out and drink and eat food. Number four is a place that I actually only visited for pretty much half a day, but that was enough time to leave such an impression on me. And number four is Shenzhen Bay Park. It's a beautiful stretch of idyllic coastline stretching for miles and miles and miles. On a clear and sunny day, you can even see Hong Kong right across the shore. One of the best videos that I think that I have shot so far was actually in Shenzhen at this very place. So if you wanna go check out that video, I'll link it above. The calm coastline of Shenzhen Bay Park is such a nice juxtaposition for a city that is known for being bustling and so, so, so fast. Number three is Wuyi Square, center of the up and coming city Changsha, capital of Hunan province. Changsha is known for being cool, modern, and full of Chinese internet celebrities and influencers. Wuyi Square specifically is the place to go if you wanna check out the latest fashion and eat some local snacks like cha dough. This place is amazing during the day. However, the best time to visit is definitely at night. Changsha is known as a city that never ever sleeps and walking the streets at 2 or 3 a.m. it's not only completely safe, but it's also so, so vibrant. Luckily for me, I have only just returned from visiting Changsha and making a video about the place. So if you wanna catch that video, make sure you are subscribed. At number two is a place also very, very close to my heart. And that is because when I first arrived in China, I was living in Foshan and my girlfriend was living in Shanghai. So for our first trip away together, we wanted to go somewhere that wasn't Foshan and that wasn't Shanghai. So we thought about it and we ended up picking this place, just a stone's throw away from my old apartment in Foshan. The first day of the trip, we ate some delicious Cantonese food, which was my personal first experience of eating Guangdong morning tea, which is delicious. We didn't really have an itinerary planned for this trip, so we visited some famous shopping malls and we were just ambling along the streets, really having no idea or direction of where we were going. It was only when we were walking along, watching the most beautiful sunset I have ever seen, when we stumbled across People's Park. A kilometer long rectangle corridor of skyscrapers, families playing, couples walking along, and Canton Tower in the distance. Walking through that place, experiencing that atmosphere, for me as my first proper trip in China was just such a lucky accident. The view was breathtaking, the atmosphere was magical. It was just such an amazing memory that I will keep forever. Number one, and well done you guys that have made it this far into the video. Now, I first visited this place last Christmas and since setting eyes on it, nowhere I have seen since in the whole of China has left this much of a lasting impact on me. It's a place so, so beautiful. It has literally desensitized my appreciation 
for any other view that I have set my eyes on. Let me set the scene. So it was about minus eight degrees Celsius and Christmas day, my first Christmas away from home. Now I really hadn't prepared for Shanghai at all. I didn't know it could get this cold in winter. So the clothes that I had packed were not nearly enough. Luckily though, being Christmas day, I did have a bit of mulled wine in my stomach, which was warming me up. We just finished Christmas dinner and we had decided to go for a walk. My girlfriend, completely understating it, told me that there was a, just a normal place that she wanted to take me for a walk. So off we set. I really, really wasn't expecting much, to be honest. And obviously I didn't know this place existed because I hadn't been to Shanghai before and I really hadn't done my research. So we're walking along in the minus eight degrees winter weather with me wearing very minimal clothes, wishing the whole way that I could just go home. But then we arrived and it was truly, truly magnificent. The Bund, otherwise known as Waitan, on the Huangpu River in Shanghai. Being Christmas, it was absolutely packed. The lights were on, the Christmas decorations were up, and there were actually even loads and loads of foreigners around, which made me feel like I wasn't that far away from home. We walked through the length of the Bund, and I'm pretty sure I hardly took my eyes off the skyline for the whole duration. I even forgot that it was minus eight degrees. That right there was the moment that made me fall in love with Shanghai, and one of the big reasons for why I eventually moved here eight months later. And now, even though this very apartment that I'm sitting in right now is just a stone's throw away from that same view, every time I see it, I feel exactly the same, and it takes me back to that very moment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.